What's up guys, it's Angel and boy oh boy do I have something life changing and amazing to show you. Today I'm reviewing Manny Markers from Ciate. I saw Tati review these and I bought them before I even finished her video because I'm just a total sucker. For research purposes, I ordered all five of the current colors for a whopping $60. These are $12 a pop and they did have a bundle of all five colors for $51 bucks, but they were sold out of course. I was really excited when I opened these up because they look like old school chisel tip sharpies with the metal barrel and if you are subscribed to my channel you know I love doing sharpie nail art so I was like yes I'm familiar with this to get the polish flowing through the pen you shake it up and then you push the felt tip nib in nib <laughs> that's a hilarious word you push the felt tip nib in and after a while the polish will start flowing it took honestly it probably took a couple minutes to get each one of these started when I pulled Vintage Vamp out of the box, it looks like it already started flowing on its own and luckily it pulled the directions out of the box because they were stuck to it and I thought, oh, <laughs> these come with directions. I should probably read these. Use on bare nails only for even application. Step one, shake well and push the nib down for 45 to 60 seconds to release product lie it takes a lot longer than that step two apply one coat of color onto bare nails making sure to keep the same pressure from cuticle to tip step three once dry apply glossy top coat so i proceeded to shake the shit out of the rest of them and yes i am aware i am making an obscene gesture right now i get it i see it too to give these a fair review, I'm first going to apply them to my Cindy hand, which is my right hand, my dominant hand, the hand I usually paint with. And a lot of you guys usually ask what Cindy hand means, and it's actually short for Cinderella hand because she does all the work and doesn't get any credit, just like the fairy tale. So if you ever hear any nail artist or nail swatcher use that term, that's what it means. After I said a little prayer, I started with the purple color. This is role model, and I do not have a base coat on. <laughs> okay, my very first thought was high coverage color, you say, in one coat. <laughs> mm hmm. Go on. Now, on the plus side, I will say that this marker was very easy to hold and very easy to control, which I was surprised about. So, that was a definite plus. But as you can see, Vintage Vamp here is a sheer, shitty, streaky mess. Now, high coverage color no I, what are they talking about but i do have another positive they do dry very fast so they weren't lying on that part the teal is named thrill seeker yay look at me i'm seeking thrills in my terribly painted teal nails i'm thrilled i'm seeking the pink is named beauty queen yas queen and I'd say that this one is the best out of the bunch. It's more opaque and applied more even and wasn't as streaky, but you could still see a little visible nail line. So on a scale of one to 10, one being piss poor and 10 being f amazing, I'd give Beauty Queen a 5.2. And lastly, we have the red lady look and I'd say that this one is the second best one. It applied okay, but as you can see, it's sheer. And I can see a lot of visible nail line, and that is not what these were advertised as. No, uh -uh. Ah, second best. So here's what they look like dried at one coat. And I was like, I know the directions say to only apply one coat, but I'm gonna try a second coat. I'm not afraid to admit that inside my little black heart, I was secretly hoping that when I applied the second layer, this was going to turn into like an amazing holy grail product. But as you can see, now we know why they say only apply one coat because it's so quick drying. You put on that second coat and the felt tip just picks up the polish and it leaves bald spots and then it makes me want to dab more product onto my nail and that just leads to chunky crappy looking nails <sighs> no second coat no but do you think that stopped me from doing a second layer on another nail nope of course i had to try again and as you can see vintage vamp also sucks with the second coat Ugh. 
At this point, I decided my Cindy hand was just a complete loss and she was dead to me. So I applied some top coat. I used HK Girl Quick Dry Top Coat to seal in all that beautiful polish. Going against what the directions state, I applied OPI Natural Nail Base Coat to my left hand because I figured I tried it without, I'm gonna try it with. Here we go. It's gonna be good. Oh no. No, it's not gonna be good. It's actually going to be worse. So then I was like, hmm, okay, I'm gonna start over again. I'm going to remove the base coat for my left hand and I'm gonna start fresh and it's going to be amazing. This is going to be an amazing video. What? Not again. This is a bunch of trash. Here we go. <laughs> Just dab it on. <laughs> that looks great. That looks really, really good. Ugh. Uh, yep, mm hmm It's about what I expected out of these. So smooth. Aw, oh, shit, there's a hair stuck on it. Please work. Please work. I'm not understanding what's happening here. Why did I do my other hand better? Why aren't these working anymore? <sighs> Seriously, I'm trying. I'm actually trying. All right, resort to more dabbing. Ugh. Oh, this looks like I'm doing Halloween zombie nail art. Ugh. Oh. I don't know if maybe the nib is getting gunked up or something. Oh, no. Oh, God. There's just strings of red going everywhere now. Look at this. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I'm in physical pain. Okay. I got a good feeling this time. This is going to work. Positive thoughts. Positive thoughts. Oh. 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 No. No. Ugh. What? <sighs> This isn't real life. I don't think this is real anymore. I'm sure some people are thinking I'm doing this on purpose to give these a bad review, but I actually had some hope for these. More gross dabbing. <sighs> Whatever. That's it. That's what it is. That's what my nail looks like. That's smooth and perfect. Okay, this time, this time it's gonna work. This one doesn't look as crunchy. This one's working. Oh my goodness. Okay, what was I doing wrong? Okay, that still doesn't look good though. That's... <laughs> It applied better, but it still doesn't look good. I'm gonna call this a success, maybe. Mm, no. Woo, success, yes. Okay. Okay, okay. We might have figured something out here. Use the tip, just the tip. I never thought I'd be able to use that phrase in a legitimate, real way. I'm feeling proud. Dear nail gods, may you bless me with the power to paint my nails with markers like a child. Thank you. Amen. Try this again. Ah. Shit! No! Nope. Mm -mm. Nope. I'm just making this worse. I'm making this worse. <sighs> yep. 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 Third time's a charm. I went back and I rewatched Tati's video and hers definitely seemed to work better than mine. I don't know, the two of mine, the pink and the red, definitely worked better than the other three. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm not recommending those two at all, but they definitely worked better than the other three. So maybe I got defective product, maybe I'm just terrible at painting my nails and I shouldn't have a nail art channel, <laughs> I don't know. And because I'm a masochist and I love to torture myself, I actually did wear these on my nails for, I think it was three days, just because I was curious about wear time and wear time was terrible. I actually took a few pictures, but they've disappeared on my phone. I don't know where they are, but I had tip wear in chips less than 24 hours so the two nails that worked okay they were chipping and i had tip wear after less than a day and the whole point of this is to be able to paint your nails quickly and to have it be a time saver and it's like no well if it's chipping with the next day then it's not saving you time because you're just gonna have to redo it why am i suddenly talking like seinfeld Ugh. So this ended up being a very long drawn out tutorial when it really could have been summed up in like 90 seconds, but I felt like I needed to show all of the attempts I did just to really show you guys that I tried my best. 
<laughs> and I spent $60 on these and I'm just sitting here thinking of all the great things I could have bought with $60. If you feel bad for me, you can always subscribe. That'll make me feel better. And you can also follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter at twy underscore star. And thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this piece of shit nail review. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. And that completes all four of my fall as f as f fudge nail art looks. I had plans to start this AF or as fudge. Come on, we all know what it means.